The next thing I'll probably try and cut off will be uh, the gel sacks. So using the edge loops tool again can be very useful. And just cut those off. And the main reason why I'm targeting these is because there are already pretty well defined seams between them and the rest of the model. So if there is any sort of a UV seam that's visible on them, at this point it will sort of blend into the rest of the mesh because it already looks like there should be some sort of difference in texture from one face to the next. So sharp corners like this are ideal candidates for placing your UV seams. There we go, we're getting there. I might even cut off individual uh, bone plates here just in order to try and make this a bit cleaner because as you can see on the right, uh, this UV shell is a bit of a mess right now. Now, as you see here on the bone shell, we have this uh, underside of the plate. So I'm going to cut the corners here so that that underside can kind of fold out in order to make this be flat. And I'll do the same thing to these other shells here. Excellent. Those all look pretty good. So the only thing left to do now would be to unwrap the main body. And then we can move on to the other parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tail off along this ridge. So that the tail is now its own separate shell. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and move the retopology mesh so that that edge lines up with the bottom portion. Let me just reduce the opacity here. So that that edge that I've cut lines up with this ridge and that'll make any UV seam that might be present that much less noticeable. All right, bring the opacity back up. And that way I don't have to place any seam right on top here in the middle. So now we have these two shells which look very clean. And we have this one. Now to unwrap this, I could use the edge loop. But that will... Actually, that's pretty good. Still, to show you a new tool, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the UV path. And this lets me pick one point, like this one. And then another point and it'll draw an edge that goes between those two points. I can hit enter and then it cuts all of those edges in between. The reason why you might use this as opposed to the edge loops is that sometimes the edge loops can grab additional edges that you don't want. Like in this case I was worried that it was going to that if I used edge loop it was going to cut from here all the way around to the top here and give me two separate halves of the tail which is not what I wanted. And then it looks here, you can see that hole near the top. So that means that there are some vertices that need to be sewn together. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to move on to the other retopo objects, like the teeth. Oh, the teeth. 
There's a lot of them. Excellent, we're done with the teeth. Now I'm going to worry about the fin. So for the fin, I think this will be a really simple one of just, uh, I'll cut it along its bottom seam. Now you'll see here that there is a little bit of overlap in the uh, the vertices or the UV verts over here. You can see those areas that are slightly brighter. Those are overlapping uh, UVs. So we don't want those in this case, but we can't. It's not going to be very easy of, for us to get rid of them in this particular with these tools. We need to UV, we need to unwrap it before we can actually get rid of that. And I'll show you how to do that once we unwrap all of our retopology meshes at once. But for right now, I'm just going to do the other half of the fin real quick here. All right, so now all of our UV shells have been drawn. And it is now time for us to actually unwrap the mesh.